Hi guys, today is the day when I'm going to show you how I create digital downloads or digital products for my Etsy business from start to finish. In this case, we are going to create some editable templates and we are going to use Canva for that. I'm going to show you how I set up my documents in Canva for some editable templates. After that, we are going to create a few designs just so that you can see how this works. After that, I'm going to show you how I give my clients the access link to the templates that we are going to create together. It is really simple, so you don't have to be afraid of that. I find that most people find this part the hardest, giving the access link to their customers. Then we are going to go on Etsy and I'm going to show you how to set up your listing for a digital product. There are a few settings that you have to keep in mind when you are listing digital products compared to physical or print-on-demand products. Oh, and I forgot, I'm also going to show you how to create some listing images and a video as well. Before we dive into this video, I would like to mention that on this Thursday, on the 15th of March, there will be a free masterclass in which I'm going to talk about how to price digital products for maximum profit and uh, maximum revenue. And you are invited, the link is down in the description and in the first pinned comment. I will see you there on Wednesday. And another quick announcement, my website, my new rebuilt, revamped website is almost ready. Uh, there are a few more tweaks to do, but you can check it out in the description box down below. Uh, you can also grab some freebies to help your journey with digital products. So without any further ado, let's talk about how to create digital products that you can sell on Etsy from start to finish. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is go on Canva. But before I will show you on my computer screen how I do that, I just quickly would like to mention that Canva clearly states in their terms and conditions that you cannot sell their templates as they are. You have to change it, you have to make it your own, you have to create a whole different product out of it. You can take the idea, but you have to create a whole new product out of it. It cannot resemble the original one. So you get inspired by those templates, but you have to create your own. This is a very important thing that you know that you cannot resell things as they are on Canva. You have to make considerable changes to them. To be safe, I never use their pre-made templates. I always take a look at them, I create a new document, and then I create something from scratch that is inspired by those templates. This is the safest way to go. For today's video and for demonstrative purposes we are going to create together a simple price list and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. So let's go onto my computer and I will show you that in a second. Okay here we are in Canva and now I'm going to create our custom design. We are going to click on custom size. Let's say we are going to do a 5 by 7 card but not in pixel but in inches. Let's correct that and now here is our blank page. I quickly wanted to come on Etsy and take a look at what is selling really well right now. So let's scroll through these and let's get some inspiration. We have quite a few, we have 13,000 results. But let's select a specific niche. And for now I would like to go with something for a beauty salon or something like that. This has a popular now badge, so let's see this item. It has the bestseller badge also. It has some really nice images, some mock-ups, things like that. And now let's see how much this item is making. It has an 86% profit margin, which is really good. It's selling for 1070. In my case, this includes VAT because I'm in Europe. And they are making 923. After the Etsy fees were taken out, I would say they are making at least $8.50 if they are a Europe-based business, but if not, then they would make about $9 off of this item. And let's see how much they made in the last 30 days. Really nice, they made almost $800 with this product. And here are their keywords. If you don't know what I'm using here, it is called Everbee. It is a Chrome extension for Etsy sellers and you can do some really cool things like this on Etsy with, with it. You can see their exact keywords, the search volume for those keywords and so on. And most importantly, how much they are making approximately because only Etsy knows the exact number and the seller, but it gives you a really good approximation of uh, how much these items are making each month. I really like this, so we are going to create something similar. So we are going to start with the text and let's say 
price list. I'm going to make it all caps. Let's add a subheading. Let's say category one and let's add somebody. Item one. Let's arrange it to the left. And then I'm going to duplicate this one. You can use this duplicate button and then it will be like this and you can drag and drop. Or what you can do is hold down the option key or the control key and you can uh, drag it off of that one. And it's really easy in my opinion if you are using both the mouse and the keypad. And we're going to put here price one. No, not like that. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to put $10 for each item and I'm going to copy paste it because it's faster. And of course the client at the end can edit the price. And I'm going to put that over there. Okay, I would like to center this a little bit more, like that. Okay, now let's duplicate this whole group. I'm going to select all of these items and I'm going to hold the option key again or you can use the duplicate button. And I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to do that a total of three times so I have four categories. This is the fastest way that I found to duplicate elements. Then let's select a different font for the heading. Okay, we are going with this one for now. I'm going to go with a more neutral palette. So I'm going to choose the colors like that. For the background, let's choose a cream color. Light, something light like that. I used a dark gray here on the title. And I think I'm going to use the same dark gray across the document. I'm going to change all the color to this dark gray. If you see this prompt here, this is, the, this is the fastest way to change the color across the entire document. I just made this section a little bit smaller and I'm going to add a line here, just as a divider. And I'm going to make it thinner. I would like to make it only one pixel or the weight to be only one. I'm going to make it this long. And here on the bottom I'm going to add some details like the social media handles, and the website address, maybe an email address as well. We will edit there and then the client at the end can choose to edit that, delete that or whatever they want to do. Okay, these are the elements and now I'm going to speed this up for you and I'm going to arrange it on the page. Now I am going to create a variation for this page so that people have some choices when it comes to their price lists and I would like to also make a layout with two columns. What I would like to do is to resize this first page and maybe the second one as well to be a specific size that fits on mobile phones. So what I'm going to do is go on the resize and I'm going to select Instagram story because that is the full page on a phone and I'm going to click copy and resize and now I have a new document inside of Canva that is the right size for displaying the prices on a mobile phone. Now we have to just arrange this a little bit so that it will look good. Of course, usually people have more than just three items under each category, but that's why I left only four categories so that people can add some more items. And here we will do the same thing as well. Okay, I will leave it like that and we are ready with our product. Now let's make some listing images. I'm going to go back to Canva. I'm going to open up a 2000 by 1500 pixel new project and now I'm going to start with the text again or maybe the background color but let's start with the text because that's the easiest for me to start with. I came back quickly to Canva to see how other people are displaying their items. I can see some Photoshop mockups and things like that but these simple ones I'm sure they were made in Canva or something like that. This looks really nice as well. 
this is only for mobile phones. What you can do here, now that we have the two sizes, you can list three items. You can list the 5x7 card, you can list the mobile menu and you can list them together. We are going to list them together in this case, trying to put together an idea of how I would like to display it so that it will stand out. And I have a general idea, but we will go with it as we see it. I'm going to add a title and first what I have to do, I have to download these as PNG files, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to download both of them. Okay, my items are now uploaded, so I'm going to add them to my uh, canvas here. Resize them a little bit. Just like this. I'm going to make this bigger. And now I will add some extra text. If you have seen my Listing Images 101 video, I'm just using the same elements. You can check that one out right there. Now we are going to add some shadow here. Drop shadow, glow. Drop shadow and glow again. And now, as you can see, we have some definition. Okay, let's add a background color. I like to keep it nice and neutral, but maybe a little bit lighter. Okay, something like that would work. And now let's add the phone templates. Now here, I'm going to add this like that. Make it a little bit smaller. I am going to go under Elements and scroll down to Frames. And I'm going to type in Phone. And we have these really cute phone mockups. What you can do is you just hover over that and your design will appear in the phone. I'm going to make this a little bit tilted and bigger like that. Arrange it a little bit. And voila, we are done with the base. Now I'm going to make this a little bit prettier, I'm going to speed it up. But at the end we are going to talk about the results. Okay, something like that. This would be our main listing image. Now I am quickly going to show you how to create a cute listing video for it. We are going to add a blank page. We are going to add a tablet from the frames that I just showed you. Okay, here is our tablet. You know what? I'm going to delete this page and I'm going to duplicate this one so that I don't have to redo the background again. I'm going to remove all of these. I'm going to leave here only editable template. I will add the tablet, make it bigger and now I'm going to add the design and now here comes the magic. I'm going to duplicate this one too and I'm going to add the other page and I'm going to duplicate this one again and I'm going to bring it down. I should have created a separate document. I would animate each for three seconds then I would have a, a scrolling effect on the tablet when I download it. Now we are going to create a separate file that we are going to upload to Etsy in which we embed the access link. I'm going back to Canva and I'm going to create a 1000 by 1000 file and I'm going to quickly bring a few elements over from here just by copy paste and I'm going to say access link. I have a whole separate tutorial on how to do this. You can watch that separate video if you would like to know how to make this very pretty and very detailed. Oh, and this is a very handy tool, it's called Grammarly, it checks your typing and your typos. I really like it and I cannot recommend it enough. And because we have two files, I'm going to duplicate this section and I'm saying that one is the card and the other one is the mobile one. So I'm going in the design that we created, I'm going to click on share, template link, copy link, 
then I will go on this first one, I will add a link to that, I'm going to click on it, on these three dots and then link, and I'm pasting the link right there and voila, this will be a clickable link if you download this as a PDF. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the mobile one, share, more, template link, copy, and on this other one, the three dots, link, paste, enter. Now what we have to do is download this as a PDF. We are going to click on share, download, and we are going to select PDF standard, and I'm going to download that. I came over to Etsy and I started to create a new listing, and we are start with the photos. I only created one for today's demonstrative purposes. I'm going to download that one as a PNG. But I also have in my Etsy shop uh, two sets of digital product mockups. You can check those out and you can mix and match those to create beautiful listing images for your shop. I uploaded two images. I, I have to add the video right there. Here we would add the title. This video is getting very long, so I am going to show you the main settings. You have to select that you did it. It is a finished product and you made it recently. I'm going to select this time period because this is the newest one. I usually put it on automatic renewal and we have to select, this is very important, that this is a digital product. Now we select the category and I usually put this in the templates category. Now here you put your description of course, you have to do your research with the keywords and the structure that you would like to use. You can select here a section and you put here all of your keywords. For this product we would have for this product I would put things like editable price list, price list template, price list template, beauty salon price list, hair stylist price list, things like that. Set the price and the quantity and now here we upload that PDF file that we just downloaded. And voila, we are done uploading our item to Etsy. You just have to hit the publish button and the item will be live on the platform. Okay, that was a very long video, but thank you very much if you made it so far. Comment down below digital products if you managed to watch it this far. I am really grateful that you did. This is my whole process. This is how I create things, how I upload things. Sometimes when I have multiple products, it takes a lot longer time than this. But today I just wanted to show you how I am doing it, the process step by step and where I click, when I click it and things like that. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something from this video today. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box and in the first pinned comment. Sign up for the masterclass, check out Everbee and Canva, check out my new website and please let me know what do you think about it and I will see you in the next video. But before I go, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online, creating products for Etsy and so on. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!